bro. And uh, who do we have here on screen? That's a good question. Um, I'm currently streaming whatever is being broadcasted because the match we had set up um, went on. Uh, they, they started anyways. Oh, oh, this is the set we were gonna watch. All right. So uh, game one has already happened. This is game two, but we're just gonna jump into it. All right. So it looks like we are in our uh, Star Lord versus Kara Coco is what this looks like. Let me see if I can find this. In uh, our the pool. other tag is Zab. Star Lord versus Zab. Zab. Okay, yes, this is going to be our winner's finals qualifier. First set, first game going to Zab. Star-Lord, notably an incredible doubles player with his uh, static teammate in Danny Phantom. Star-Lord um, and Danny Phantom notably ending myself and 4% uh, run in a, in a doubles bracket before I moved out to Colorado. So love to see Star-Lord and Danny doing some work, but Star-Lord whipping out the pup here against um, Zab's Marth. Yeah, it's worth noting that Star-Lord is currently playing on the box. Um, getting used Ooh. to new controller, so I'm not too surprised. Taking it a little bit less technical with the puff, get comfortable. Absolutely, you know I'm a I'm a box peach myself, so I do respect the floaties coming out to boxes. Not just a space animal machine, machine, definitely has a lot of uh, floaty utilization as well. But Star Wars with a pretty significant lead here, three stocks to one here over Zap. See if we can duke it up. Gonna go ahead and retreat to top platform here. Just gonna take his time. Working his way back to center stage. We'll get some ground here. Refreshes all those jumps. Zab looking for some pivot F smash. Trying to find something here in neutral. But a, a crouch into F smash to get up some early percent here. Star Lord does not get the drill into grab there. Looking for one more option. Needs that maybe like one or two straight hits. And start looking for some early edge guard uh, follow ups here. But a uh, tipper up air off the top will seal it away. Two stocks to one here. Zab looking for an early one. Oh, can't quite find it. Guiding it out with these let, these short hop double fares. Gonna go ahead and crouch that grab. Does not get the shield poke with that drill. Star Lord looking for an opening here. Does get scoop with his dash tag. Zap just trying to find these little uh, chinks in the armor. These little uh, breaks in this defensive game from Star Lord. We gonna look to grab ledge, but can't quite get that turnaround animation. Retreat center stage. Really swinging that sword, trying to get an early kill here. Already built up on 85%. Will be able to find it off of a down throw into pivot f smash at this percent but after maybe about 10 more percent it's gonna be very difficult to find that you're gonna have to look towards those stray tipper up airs or straight tipper f uh, forward airs it's a real seal away this pop stock but a stray back air into an edge guard great air dodge but the patience and the presence of mind from star lord just go ahead and wait out that option grab ledge and seal away that game star lord will be taking the game number two and sending us to a game three qualifier here for top eight Now, this is interesting. Actually, uh, I, I haven't heard much of Zab until like recently. Uh, they entered Thirsty Thursday yesterday and did pretty well. Um, but taking a set off of Star Lord box or not would be definitely a, a good good call. Like a yeah. that would be a notable win. Star Lord has been running the gauntlet of characters so far this tournament, taking uh, playing Fox against Kind Squared. Um, here taking that 2-0, 2-0 over Symphony's Peach with Star Lord Sheik, and now bringing out the Jigglypuff against Zab's Marth. So definitely running the gauntlet. Star Lord, an outrageously intelligent player, really patient, really great understanding of neutral positioning here to find great safe positioning and try to minimize a lot of those defensive options. So definitely is not a um, character uh, character specific set of skills. So. I could definitely see Star Lord taking notable wins over a bunch of players with just about any top tier in the cast. Yeah, it could just be me, but I noticed that some of the better doubles players can just whip out a lot of different characters. I, I don't know if that's because of the different play style that comes with doubles and like utility that you might want to whip out in certain compositions, but he, Star Lord definitely has a lot of characters under his belt, it seems. Yes. Star Lord um, definitely just so um, cognizant, especially of. You know, roll habits, jump habits, and especially stage positioning um, relative to uh, certain matchups. So like I said, we just, I'd like to see it right there. Going out with that ledge hop reverse fair, knowing that the strong hitbox would cover that, as well as cover a fastball into instant upbeat. Super great presence of mind there from Starlo to seal away that first stop. All right, air dodge to cover up. Phantom that rest. Look, Phantom rest. Unbelievable. And Will lose his stock forward, but you know that little bit of percent? Gonna break that out of the crouch count. Percent 35 
the 45 is going to be your knockdown guarantee, so dash attack is going to be a much more valuable option here for Star-Lord. Alright, great job holding down center stage here. Zap not getting the meteor that he wants there. Sorry, the spike hitbox he wants it, but the pivot edge smash will take an early one here for the side of Zap. Alright, goes for another one, but tries to straight out of the hand. Star-Lord trying to snuff out a jump there, but can't quite find it. Star-Lord looking for one opening here, but gets that roll, does not get the F-Smash. Goes for the pivot, but misses the timing based on that uh, rising platform. Unfortunate there for Zap. Alright, good. Three juice hits and snipes out the jump. Can you go ahead and grab that ledge? Back air? Yes, sir. Gonna have that, that um, jump refresh. But like I said it before, if it works on the first stock, it's gonna work on the second. That reverse fair covering so many options off that ledge. Okay. Goes for the tech chase here. Can can he find it through? Does not. Early duel that could have been a rest there. Alright, triple up air. Huge damage built up here for Star Lord. It's anyone's game right now. There seems to be a little bit of lag. Not sure if that's just a slippy lag. Hoping it's slippy lag. Star Lord, alright, taking the first lead of game number three here. But an F Smash will kill. Last stock, game three. This is our winner's side qualifier tier for top eight bracket. Huge stack up on damage here for fourth row. Are red, you and kidding me? What? Unbelievable! Zab. Wow, Zav has been bailed out so two or three times this game alone on Phantom Rest and has already mitigated that percentage deficit. Could have been, that was Star-Lord's game to win, but a Phantom Rest brings Zav back into it. All right, straight back here. Then head seal away with an edge guard, but finds his way back to the ledge. Another straight back here. Just aggressive with it. Drill to reset it, but gets back to center stage. No, this is the F-Smash. Star-Lord. Uh, it has been oh back air 126 percent to 95 this is a last stock last hit situation built off the yeah. precipice of a phantom rest and the back air will take it all doesn't lie game was already set with that rest but star lord just